morning is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 22, verses 33 through 40, in the Living Bible translation. Uh, this is a familiar scene where Jesus is being quizzed to see if they can tr trick him up a little bit. Uh, I stuck on verse 33 so we have a complete sentence for the first sentence. Uh, the crowds were profoundly impressed by his answers, but not the Pharisees. When they heard that he had routed the Sadducees with his reply, they thought of a fresh question of their own to ask him. One of them, a lawyer, spoke up. Sir, which is the most important command in the laws of Moses? Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. The second most important is similar. Love your neighbor as much as you love yourself. All the other commandments and all the demands of the prophets stem from these two laws and are fulfilled if you obey them. Keep only these and you will find that you are obeying all the others. trying to find a way to stay with Pam's theme of building a way forward. And I saw that next week she's talking about building up relationships. So I decided to backtrack a little bit from that and to start building a foundation and building up ourselves. In the scripture reading that Frank just read for us, we heard the verses about two greatest commandments, which we've heard a thousand times, right? We hear the commandments, love God with all our heart, all our mind, and all our soul, and to love our neighbor as much as ourselves. And I want to explore this part of the end a little bit. We tend to focus on loving your neighbor, but what about the end of that phrase? As yourself. What does it mean to love yourself? Of course, there are obvious things like self-care, health, fitness, eating right, sleeping right, even leisure activities and recreation. But is that all there is? What about emotionally? When I was a kid, I never had very high self-esteem. And I still struggle with it. But as I've I sort of found my niche, kind of found myself. I've gotten better. I took a class over the summer that was one of those that when I signed up for it, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. <laughs> it ended up being a class about self-exploration. And I learned far more about myself than I ever wanted to know. <laughs> and in my mind, most of what was uncovered was negative. I learned that I have serious control issues and anger issues. And that was really hard for me to reconcile and work through. But even though there was a negative, there was also a lot of positive discovery in the class. As most of you know, I'm an introvert. And this class really pushed that. Not with just the, my classmates, but also with my supervisor. But I was able to learn about that part of me and many other parts of my personality, which allowed me to grow. That class provided a foundation for me to begin building myself up. You know, it's funny. I look back at the days when I worked in daycare, and granted, I worked with one and two year olds, but we still always tried to, you know, tell them they were a good kid when they would you know, use the potty or when they would did good on their art project or when they nice to the other kids. We tried to teach them about all the things they can do. And we hope that even at that young age, we can help them understand how to feel good about themselves. But at some point in our lives, we all need to be rebuilt. We teach children that they're good people 
why does it seem so hard for us to teach ourselves as adults and to believe that we are good people, that we have gifts and talents too? One thing I learned in my summer class is that we're all flawed and we have things about ourselves that we don't like, but we can learn to embrace those things. Embrace ourselves for the whole of who we are. As most of you know, I'm very musical and I'm going to tap into that side of me a little bit today, so I hope you'll indulge me with a few songs throughout. And this first one I'm going all the way back to the 90s, 1993. It's called Hero by Mariah Carey. The words were very inspiring to me and I wanted to share them with you. There's a hero if you look inside your heart. You don't have to be afraid of what you are. There's an answer if you reach into your soul and the sorrow that you know will melt away. And then a hero comes along with the strength to carry on. And you cast your fears aside and you know you can survive. So when you feel like hope is gone, look inside you and be strong. And you'll finally see the truth that a hero lies in you. It's a long road when you face the world alone. No one reaches out a hand for you to hold. You can find love if you search within yourself and the emptiness you felt will disappear. Lord knows dreams are hard to follow, but don't let anyone tear them away. Hold on, there will be tomorrow. In time, you'll find the way. And then a hero comes along with the strength to carry on. And you cast your fears aside and you know you can survive. So when you feel like hope is gone, look inside you and be strong. And you'll finally see the truth that a hero lies in you. I was struck by the line towards the beginning about not being afraid of what we are. Those words are powerful for me and encourage me to learn more about my negative parts and habits and how to grow in the positive ones. To stop trying to justify the bad things and accept myself as a whole. Now mind you, this is not easy to do because no one wants to acknowledge the bad parts of them. But, you know, even if we aren't at the point, at, there's always someone who is. I was reminded, as we said earlier, Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. God loves me. In 1 John, we read that, that we love because God first loved us. We are created in God's image. God sees my flaws probably more of them than I'm aware of, but he loves me anyway. There's another song, I told you, my musical side, that reminds me of God's love called You Love Me Anyway by Sidewalk Prophets. And I just wanted to share a few of those words. I'm a thorn in your crown, but you love me anyway. I'm the sweat from your brow, but you love me anyway. I'm the nail in your wrist, but you love me anyway. I'm Judas's kiss, but you love me anyway. See now, I am the man who yelled out from the crowd for your blood to be spilled on this earth-shaking ground. Yes, then I turned away with a smile on my face, with this sin in my heart, tried to bury your grace. And then alone in the night, I still called out for you, so ashamed of my life. But you love me anyway. God sees all parts of us and loves us unconditionally. And nothing we do will diminish God's love for us. The group Mercy Me sings a song full of spoken for. And again, it's just a powerful reminder that God has spoken for us and for our hearts. 
God knows our hearts, and yet God just works. God loves us. It goes like this. Take this world from me. I don't need it anymore. I am finally free. My heart is spoken for. And I praise you, and I worship you. Covered by your love divine, child of the risen Lord, to hear you say, this one's mine. My heart is spoken for. Now I have a peace I've never known before. I find myself complete. My heart is spoken for. And I praise you, and I worship you. By the power of the cross, you take in what was lost and made it fully yours. And I have been redeemed by you that spoke to me. Now I am spoken for. Covered by your love divine, child of the risen Lord, to hear you say, this one's mine, my heart is spoken for. How amazing to be claimed by God. This one's mine. My heart is spoken for. So I ask you this question today. If God loves us, if Jesus loves us just the way we are, unconditionally and eternally, why is it so hard for us to love ourselves? I challenge and encourage all of you to learn more about yourselves, to learn how to reconcile the good and bad, and accept and embrace the whole. We can build strong relationships with a strong foundation of who we are. Okay, bear with me, one more song. <laughs> one of these days, by Tim McGraw, at the end he says this, One of these days, I'm going to love me, and feel the joy of sweet release. One of these days, I'll rise above me, and at last, I'll find some peace. Then I'm going to smile a little, maybe even laugh a little. But one of these days, I'm going to love me. This is my plea to you today. I hope 